fancy beauties and bows welcome back to your girl's channel this is gina coming in with another video another video hey hey so we're gonna start with hair first today and um we're gonna do um that wig i showed you in the beauty haul so this one is i think this one is model model Yep, yeah, this one is model model. So here's the stock card for you guys right here. She is in color, or actually lace number 203. The color is OT27. Okay. So she is able to be heated with 400 uh, degree curling iron if you need to um, apply some heat to her that is what she can take she is ombre unit and this is what she looked like i done tossed her around y'all so much but um <laughs> she all right though she all right she all right so if you see me looking up, I've got everything hooked to um, my television so I can kind of see better because y'all know my vision, honey. <laughs> but this is what she looked like. She just got a nice little bump on the end of her and she is a side part. Uh, hold on before I make a fib. No, she's not. She's a middle part. She's a middle part. But y'all already know. Wig shifter. Wig shifter. <laughs> All right. So um, let, let us get down to business before we be here like an hour later. And y'all will be totally upset with me. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with our recreation <laughs> Alright, so before I go ahead and place her on my head, y'all, um, I'm just going to tell you already, uh, she's got this to be cut off, but she's got about, um, I want to say maybe four, four to four and a half inches apart right there. Um, the cap to me is that breathable uh, cap which is going to be awesome for the summertime and then still comes with the adjustable straps this has that um, type of material if you can see right there it's kind of like that rubbery uh, material and that's supposed to help it kind of stay in place in the back it's kind of like that silicone type of deal so whether she look good on my head or not we are not taking her back to the store so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put her on let me comb it out a little bit before I put her on I know I still got my little peanut head over here, child. All right, fancy beauties and bows. So while I am in the process of getting her together in the back with the adjustable straps and styling her, a lot of time has gone by. I have spent two days with Miss Mata Mata. Okay, sis, don't go by her. 
don't do it because you will fight with her and she gonna win because she gonna keep tangling and tangling and tangling and it's like your fingers doing the splits you know when you was a cheerleader and you had to jump up in the air and do your splits with your legs that's what your fingers gonna be doing all day so he my suggestion she pretty but she not worth it so with that being said you guys go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video i will see you on the flip side and when we do the dip side with the makeup side <laughs> i'll see y'all over there come on fancy beauties and bows let's go Alright guys, so pretty much this is all what we're going to do for her today. I don't want to adhere her down or anything like that. So um, pretty much basically just put her down, cut the lace off, uh, bought some of my hair out, and I'm going to uh, probably end up just, uh, if you can see right there, see I'm just going to kind of just have some swoopies because I'm going to leave this down for whatever look I come up with. Uh, I don't feel the need to do any uh, baby hairs up here. I could pull it back just a little bit. And I just want it to just fit natural on my hairline. Um, probably going to have to go in and get this off. If you can see, I can see it. It's a shadow right there. And you can see where that lace is discolored or it's, uh, you know, different than what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> okay. So here is where you would want to go ahead and go in with the um, got to be spray and just set that down. I've got some right here, but like I said, I don't want to put anything on here yet because I'm trying to make a decision on if I'm going, I got a, I got another unit that I need to do and I don't want to adhere this down. So, girl, if you want to shut your seat, here we go, talking again. Go, go get into the makeup look, Gina, because you just talk too much. All right, fancy beauties and bows. We moving into the makeup part of the section right now. So I'm just gonna go through and figure out what I want to use today. So I'm looking at the Morphe palette and um, seeing if we gonna do this purple or if we gonna do pink or whatever. So I think we gonna go for a Barbie doll pink today. All right, so we have already laid down that transition color, crease color, I should say. And then we're just going in with uh, AOA brush, and we're gonna go ahead and blend out the top part of that pink color. So pretty, really, really pretty and soft. This look is gonna be super easy. I'm gonna only try and use two colors, which I think I achieved if I remember correctly. So this lid color, I'm just using my finger to go ahead and lay that color down. And it's just a nice, pretty, soft blush. Not really blush. No, I can't say it's blush. It's just a light, pale pink. That's what I wanna say. So we laid that down and then we just gonna go in with the formalities of the mascara, the lashes, and then we'll go ahead and get into the face. All right guys, so this next step for the concealer, I'm gonna do this a different way and it's only because I made a mistake but I actually like the way that it came out. 
I was supposed to do the correcting first and then put the closest complexion color next under the eye, uh, but I didn't. But as you can see, that way gives me a more natural, more flawless look. So I think I'm gonna keep this technique that I did. This is mine. Nobody, I ain't get it from nowhere. No YouTube, none of that. It's mine, honey, it's mine. <laughs> and then uh, of course we went in with Kiss for the uh, foundation guys so we have a new concealer by elf and I picked up color tan neutral it's the perfect shade for me and I absolutely am in love with this concealer so you might want to try it if you haven't already we're going in with those lashes that I showed you guys a while ago and I'm not sure what number I used there but I'll find out and run it across the screen I like to take my lashes and kind of roll them around before I place them on the lash line itself to give it that more of an ease tool that I need when I'm placing my lashes on. This one I have to work with a little bit harder than the other one. I don't know, it's always one that want to give me a hard time, but it's all good, patient.
let's take a walk down brick road click your heels and we'll be there i want you do you want me to once you hear the rhythm playing promise you won't be complaining i'll be here for if it's for you once my body gets to sway and promise you won't be complaining and i'll be saying yeah in the sea but there's one I'm chasing after I'm not afraid to tell the world who I choose baby it's you oh, can I dance for you hey would that be cool Take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain wants you I've been hanging by myself Asking for help Yeah Sleepless Do we need space? Yeah, maybe a break Boy, you're my weakness 